Hi, this is Katrina Myers with Engineers Without Borders, and I'm going to go through a little demo in pause as part of the early adopter training. So today I'm going to um, work as a chapter and pretend to apply to adopt an unassigned program. So this is pause. Um, I'm going to click onto the programs tab and here I can select any of these list views in order to get a list of, of programs. So I'm going to click unassign and click go. So that gives me a list of the programs that are unassigned and therefore available for me as a chapter to apply to adopt. On this list, I can click these little green pluses in order to follow programs and therefore get updates when the records change. Um, you can see here I've already followed this program, so I'm interested in it. I'm going to click into the program record. So on this record, you can see along the top, anytime you're on a record in, in pause, you can see the name of that record type up at the top. So this is a program, and it has a symbol associated with it or a little globe. And then the name of that record uh, right below the type. If I scroll down, under that, there's the chatter feed, which is where all the comments or questions or comment response about that record will be stored. Below that, there's the record details, which includes anything that's on the record itself. And then from there, there's these gray boxes, which are other records that are associated with the record that I'm looking at. So, um, from here, there's chapter program adoptions, community partnerships, projects, and trips. So um, I can see by the, pro the program record, there isn't too much detail in order for me to determine whether I'd like to apply to adopt that program or not. So I'm going to click here into the community application. So this shows me all of the information that the community filled out when they applied for this program. So this is all the detail that they provided. So I can scroll through that and that will help me decide whether my chapter would like to go ahead and apply to adopt this program. So based off of that, um, I'm going to go ahead and say that we, we did make the decision to apply to adopt and I'll click back to the program record. On the program record, I can click here, New Chapter Program Adoption, and that's where I fill out the form in order to adopt that program. The first step is to search for my, my chapter. I can search by first word or by keyword with an asterisk in front. I'll click my program. Now I'm going to go through and quickly fill out the form. And anytime I have a question on what we're looking for in each field, I can hover over the question mark, and that gives me more information. And each one of these records, I uh, for this type of question, I can select multiple to choose, and. Then at the bottom of the application, there's a section called items required to submit for approval. So this is a little tracking sheet to make sure I know what I need to submit in order to go ahead and, and submit for approval for this. So I put in progress for the completed application. So that was the editing view of the record. Once I save it, I go to the line item edits. Uh, from here, I can see any related lists. So there's chapter contacts, notes and attachments, and approval history. And I can still make edits to this application just by double clicking into the fields. They'll show up as red text when I make an edit, and I'll have to save in order to make sure not to lose those changes. Okay, so next thing I need to do is chapter contacts. So I'm going to click Add New Contact. Here I can search by name. And this will be pre-populated with your chapter's volunteers. And 
I'm going to go ahead and answer a few questions about this contact. and say that that contact is also serving as responsible engineer. So I'm going to show how clone, which is kind of like save as, will help speed up the process. So I'll click clone, and that just produces a new record with the same information that, of the last one. Um, change only her role and save it. I'm going to click clone again. And now I'm going to line edit this role. OK. So now from here, you can see I'm on a chapter contact record. And it has a name here, um, a system generated name. So in order to get back to my chapter program adoption, there are two ways to do that. So since I came to this record as it, because it related to the chapter program adoption record, there's always a link at the top back to that record. So there's a chapter program adoption right here. I can click that link in order to get back. Another way is I can look at these recent items on the left hand side. And if I hover over that, I can see there's my chapter program adoption. So I'm going to click there. That will bring me back to the uh, program adoption that I was just in. So from here, I've completed my chapter contacts. You can see them there. And now I need to um, save and add some attachments. So going to notes and attachments, I'll attach a file. I'll choose a file. And then from here, I can attach it. I can click choose file again, attach a second file. Once I'm done, I can attach as many as I want with steps one and two. And then I click done once I'm done. So from there, I think I'm ready to go ahead and submit for approval. I see there are my chapter contacts. There are my attachments. I'm going to mark attachments as complete and save. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and submit for approval. I think I have everything that I need. It's going to warn me. Click OK. OK, so now I get an error message saying that I did not meet the entry criteria. So I'm going to go back to the record, and now I'm going to use Chatter to send a message to the program engineer and see if they can help me. And I click share. OK, so since I tagged that individual, it will notify them in order to help me with the, the issue that I'm having. But I'm also going to just go through real slowly and see if I can figure out what might be the issue. OK, so I have my chapter contacts. I have my notes and attachments. But it looks like I did not mark the application as complete. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to complete, and then hopefully that will be the issue. So I click Submit for Approval. It warns me here. And it allowed me to submit. So you can see now the record is locked. And another trick to looking at the related lists, at the top of the record, instead of having to scroll down to the bottom, there are little links here that allow me to hover and look at those lists. So if I click on that link, it will send me right down to the list itself. Or I can just hover and kind of see what else is attached here. My attachments, my chapter contacts, and my approval history. So on approval history, you see now it's pending. Once that's approved, it will uh, show up as approved and then um, notify me of that approval. OK, so that's the, uh, the end of this demo. Uh, this is just one of many processes in pause, but it gives you an idea of some of the basic functionality of the system and how it will allow you to clone records.